guys. Unfortunately, I can't be at school with you this morning. I've woken up and discovered that I need to go and get a COVID test. Just another example of how COVID's affected our lives over the last couple of years and, and none more so than the people that I'm talking to here today. Um, there's no doubt that uh, you guys have had a pretty rough trot through VCE, um, but well done to all of you. You're here at the end um, and ready to get stuck into some exams and get stuck into the rest of your lives. I really hope that in my absence today, you've treated those teachers who are at school well and haven't left too much of a mess. Um, at the end of all of this, I really want you to make sure that you give a really heartfelt round of applause, particularly to Kylie, Kate and Dee. Um, I know over the last couple of days, you've, you've been telling your teachers how much you've appreciate their efforts. Um, but I really hope today that you highlight the efforts of those three people, because there's no doubt that they've worked really hard for you guys over the last um, 12 months particularly. I would imagine um, that it'd be really tempting for you guys to um, give up the ghost a little bit just at the moment, um, just with all the things that have been happening around COVID and um, even with things starting to loosen up a little bit, the temptation would be to not work as hard as you possibly could over the next couple of weeks. What I really hope that you have learnt in your time at Swan Hill College is to never give up and I really hope that you don't um, succumb to that temptation of, of not putting in as much effort as you possibly can over the next few weeks and through your exams. One of my favourite memories of you guys, and there are lots of great memories of you guys, which is something which I will treasure forever, but one of my favourite memories is, is teaching the Year 11 Maths class last year. And my memory, the reason that memory is so good is because I just enjoyed that time so much with such a great group of people. Um, but it was about the effort that some of those people put in, I think, which really stands out to me. And I'm gonna mention, mention Xander Hartland here as my example, but I could have mentioned many students in that class who were really struggling with the work. And, and, and Xander, I will I think be happy for me to say that he was struggling with the topics at the time. And what he did is he he made sure that he came and saw, saw me, you know, on several lunch times over the ensuing few weeks. He, he did extra work, he was asking questions in class, he was, you know, doing all of the right things. And at the end of all of that, Xander not only passed that, that subject and that topic, but excelled in some of those areas as well. And I think that's the attitude that you guys need to have leading into exams um, over the next few weeks. I really want to encourage you to make sure that you talk with your teachers, you do that extra work, you, you really work hard right up to your last exam because I think that will give you your best chance of getting those results that, that you really want. And I think that um, that, that will really help you to, to know that you know, it is possible um, to, to do well even, even when you've had a year such as you've had. Um, I really honestly truly do wish you guys the very best for your futures um, and it doesn't matter whether you've done VCAL or you've done VCE or, or what you've done in your time at Swan Hill College. I want you to know that you're always welcome to come back through that front door. We're always here to help you. Um, you're always going to be part of our community um, and, and I really want you to remember that going into the future. Even if it's just dropping in to tell us what you're doing, we would really like to see and hear from you. That's it. I've got to go and get in the queue now for COVID testing. Um, I hope you guys have a, a great few weeks. Um, enjoy your Christmas if I don't see you before Christmas. Um, and the very best of luck. See ya. All right, so that was Sartz and his speech. I'm going to now ask Kate to come and address the group for the last time. Alrighty guys, when I was sort of thinking of what I'm going to do for this, I was like, wow, it is the end of a chapter in your lives, but it's also the beginning of another one. So the first thing I really thought was, well done guys, you did it. Okay, you got to the end of your year 12. You've all completed. Some of you will go on and do exams. Okay, but that's the extra bit for the extra pathway. You've all actually been successful to this point in time. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to include it, Yep. So if you have a little look at that picture, it might not look quite right because it's not you guys. But for five of you in this room, your parents are in that picture. Um, for an assistant principal in this room, you're in that picture too. Um, so many years ago in 1989, Dee and I and a bunch of your parents graduated from this school. And weirdly, full circle, I feel like I'm back here again with a bunch of kids of people I went to school with. 
So I sort of thought about, well, where did the journey end? I mean, begin, not end. So obviously... <laughs> so obviously at birth, and lots of you have been friends since birth. For some of you, it was childcare. So there's a few familiar faces there. For some of you, it was kinder. So there's the Swan Hill South kinder group. So some of you have friendships that go back a long, long way. For some of you, it's at prep. And sorry, Alana, but I love the picture. I had to use it. And then all of us, we come here as Fresh Face Year 7s in 2016. And our journey at high school started. Mudgy was your year level manager. There was about 150 of you. And year seven was a pretty good year of new experiences. Uh, things like snow camp are always good memories from year seven, even way back when I did that in year seven many, many years ago. Year eight got a little more hectic. Uh, had conversations with some of you, and some of you can remember some of the kids that were here in year eight that aren't here anymore, and you have a little bit of a laugh about some of the antics that happened in year eight. So it came to the end of year eight, Mudgy had uh, moved down to Flow, and you needed a year level manager. And we tried and we tried and we tried and eventually it was like, okay, Kate, we'll do it. So you've been stuck with me for the last four years, okay? And I've loved it, okay? I love being your year level manager. Some of you I don't know that well because I haven't taught you and you've never really had any issues. So you haven't really come and interacted with me that much. Some of you I've had a lot to do with and know your parents quite well and that's good too, okay? <laughs> And then some of you, and sorry Xander, but it's you again, have had me as a teacher three out of your six years at school. So, you know, Xander's had to put up with me the most, except for Gian. So we worked our way through school. Some of my great memories, I loved Year 9 Formal, even though the photographer card crashed and I didn't get the pictures that I wanted. But Year 9 Formal was an awesome time. Um, those of you that came on Duke of Ed Camp, that was an awesome time. And the other awesome bit is just watching you grow up, okay? We're all a lot more mature than we were when we started Year 7. Every single one of us in this room. So that's us at the start of Year 12, all in our nice new jackets, looking forward to the year ahead, hoping that it wasn't going to be affected by COVID, but sadly it was. But when I think of your Year 12, and yep, you're always going to sort of think, oh, it was those COVID years, but it was also a lot of positives. We got to have our dress-up days. Okay, you got to have those fun events with your friends. You made new friendships. Some of your friendships changed, and that's okay. That's part of growing up, okay? But there's lots of good things. So I would like to sort of say to you all, think of all the good things that you had over your VCE years. Don't just get stuck on thinking that COVID stuffed it up for us, okay? Because it was just an event, and we survived it, and we are more resilient, and we've all grown because of it. So the last thing I just want to say to you as you move forward in your future, it's your future now. Um, this chapter closes, but the thing that you're in control of is um, your actions and your reactions. So remember, as you embark on your next chapter, you're in control of your choices. I would say choose wisely, and I would say remember the friendships from school, because some of them go back a long, long way. All right, I'd now like to ask our captains to come up and I've asked two captains to address our group. Uh, so th today I'm gonna talk about things that we've learned as school captains. Uh, so this year has been filled with unease and strife because of the COVID interruptions. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to do much of what we planned at the start of the year. Because of this, we've learned how to adapt to uncertain conditions, working through these troubling times to make it through the year. Having to adapt to these new circumstances, our resilience and flexibility has been tested and strengthened, allowing us to overcome the challenges that we've been forced to face. Still being able to output what has been asked of us, from the few recordings to, for radio ads to the motivational videos, has been a test of our communication skills as well as the organising of a few events and special days, helping us to learn to think outside the box. 
These lessons will stay with us for a long time to come, though this is something that everyone can take from. We have made it through a very difficult year and that will continue to aid us for years to come. On top of that, I believe that our public speaking conf and confidence in that area has been toughened, preparing us for the next chapter of our lives. Being captains this year has definitely taught us much about much that we will never forget. And due to the year that we've had, it is a unique experience that not many will have, have had the opportunity to experience, which makes it special and will make our contributions to the world much greater because of the hardships we've faced throughout this year. Thank you. What a year, with more than half the year sitting behind computer screens, some of us listening intently and others not so much. Um, we've, all, we've all made it this far with not long to go, so keep it up. We started our keen in term one to spend the whole year at school, but we got put back, in, back into lockdown, surprise, surprise. This is when we learnt to be persistent and stay focused. It was at this time we got into the groove and found a routine. Webex and online sacks is not how we imagined our final year at school would look like. In saying that, we still made the most of it and we tried our best. When we got onto the school ground, when we were on the school grounds, oh boy, do we actually enjoy being on site. It's funny, we're all guilty of saying, I don't want to go to school, but after so much online school, we are ironically hanging back to be in the classroom. This year we've been thrown everything that we could possibly imagine, and we have learnt so much, not only about ourselves, but the people around us. We have learnt to be adaptable and resilient, and whatever happens, we know that we've all given 110%. Whether some of us go to uni and others go into a trade, we've all made long-lasting memories and friendships. We have finally made it, a full term in the classroom, even though it was only two, two and a half weeks, and 13 years of schooling. We should all be very proud of ourselves, knowing we have given, all, given our all. So good luck in the future, wherever life takes you. Just make the most of every single opportunity and have no regrets. All right, I am going to run through, pardon? Who does? Not just yet. All right, so we have our year 12 awards that we just wanted to run through. So our first award was 100% attendance. So I'll ask Miss Lockery to come up. Our 100% attendance is 100 smackaroonies. So for one of our lucky, Jackson Walker. <laughs> Our next award, and if Carl wants to make a speech, he can now, was Carl's Homies. So come up, Carl's Harmi Homies. I'll get it right in a minute. So all the people up here, Ellie, Amber, Sophie, Ethan, Tyler, Carl, Gian and Jordan. Now, I don't know how you guys share this, but it is one whopper. So go that way and all face this way in a line. And somehow, you guys. And Carl, did you want to say something? Good boy. Um, no, we're very happy that we have this. No. Um, thanks for a great year, everyone, and uh, hope for the best for futures to come. Well done. Good job. You can just put it back there and somehow you'll have to give it up before you go. Alright. We have the... Kate, do you want to come up? This is our awesome photo that one of you gets to win. <laughs> Don't show them the name yet. <laughs> Oh, Holly Bar. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> elbow pump thing. Yeah. I have to bump my elbow. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Thank Good you. job. All right, our next award is, is a $20 gift card and this is for our PBS um, award. So we've got everybody that got PBS stickers this term. <laughs> Jeremy Bedgegood. Well done, Jeremy. Okay, I just had a couple more things to do, so bear with me as we finish up now. All right, I cannot believe we are sitting here on your last day of secondary school. As some of the teachers before me may have said, this cohort has been one I've had a vested interest in from the start. And you guys sitting here, having completed your year 12, just blows me away. I would like to take this time to congratulate you all on tackling the challenges of year 12, alongside with the added pressure of COVID. I hope today you celebrate with your peers, look after one another, and then focus on what is next for you. For those sitting exams, I cannot stress enough how important the coming weeks will be. So stay connected with your peers, use the resources available, and lean on your family and teachers for support. The common room will be open from tomorrow onwards for you to use and study on or base yourself. For those of you moving on to employment, I wish you all the very best and look forward to hearing of how successful you have become. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Today, the 20th of October, 2021, in this second year of COVID, it's time to say goodbye to the class of 2021. For the last time, the class of 2021 will leave the Swan Hill College as we do their final roll call. Heichel Abbas. Well done, Michael. Take one of those. <laughs> Corinda Alexander. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> well done. Tani Anderson. Well done, Tani. <laughs> Chris Ball. <laughs> well done, Chris. Holly Bath. Dre Baxter, <laughs> Charlie Beasley, well done. Jeremy Bedgegood, <laughs> Sophie Benbo, well <laughs> Reese Benfield. Zoe Benfield. <laughs> well done, Reese. Sarah Berg. Well done, Zoe. Cage Balkan. <laughs> Chelsea Boxel. Well done, Jordan Bradbury. Well done. There you go, Chelsea. <laughs> Molly Brown. Brian. Jaden Bull. <laughs> Bailey Boyne. Lockie Caffrey. Tyler Carr. Rory Colville. Well done, Sarah Conyers. Congrats, Eli Cook. Nick Craig. Brianna Dale. Brady Dalton. Alicia Decker. Well done, 
Hi, Mark Drotsky. <laughs> Thank you. Ethan Drummond. <laughs> You're crying already. <laughs> Ryder Dunn. Well done, Ethan. Well done, Ryder. Une Inglebrit. You can't take it off this time. <laughs> Ryan Featherby. <laughs> Carl Fideli. Well done, Risky Fermancia. Congrats. Well Ali done, Fowler. Fowler. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Maddie Gardner. Jaden Gomba. Well done, Jaden. Ella Goodbody. <laughs> Bray Roder. Well done. Tamika well done. Hand. Well done. Xander Hartland. Julia Hasty. What a journey. Liam Hawley. <laughs> Byron Holt. Well done. Alana Hughes. Thanks, Byron. Well done, Alana. Lorda Highland. Thank you. Demi Thank Kelly. <laughs> Tash Demi. Kelly. Gian Lockery. Thanks. Patty Lyons. <laughs> Robbie Mara. Megan Mason. <laughs> Ebony Matthews. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Brooklyn McGregor. Well done. <laughs> well done, Brookie. Eva Mesley. Thanks. Amber Monk. Lacey Moore. Thank you. Well now we more. <laughs> Felicity well Parsons. Well Bethany Redino. Jamie Rogers with Sarah Berg on camera. <laughs> Luke Rogers. Well done, Luke. Meg Rooney. Well done, Meg. Mitchell Ryan. Chris Sherman. Well done, Mitch. Congrats. <laughs> Noah Simmons. Well done, <laughs> Emily Smith. Congrats, Noah. Well Melina Tant. <laughs> Tegan Tempini. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. Charlotte Fullen. Congrats. Tom well Thornton. Well done, Tom. Joey Violi. Hey, Joey. 
Jackson Walker. Well done, congratulations. Jared well done, Walsh. Jackson. Congrats. <laughs> Zach Warren. Congratulations. Liam well done, Wiseman. Guys. Madison Wood. Well done. Lucky last, Jordan well Young. Finally, as the class of 2021 leave for the last time this year, I would like to thank Kate Lockery for all her work with the Year 12s. Kate goes about her business on a daily basis without any fuss and just gets the job done. Throughout the year, she has supported this cohort, run activities to encourage cohesiveness, been a shoulder to cry on, given them a gentle push in the right direction, but most of all, been a rock or an ear when needed. Kate has been invested from the time the year started and was determined to do the best she could given the current circumstances. Not only am I proud of the efforts the Year 12s have achieved this year, but I'm equally proud of how Kate has gone about things. Thank you, Kate, from all the senior school and students at the Swan Hill College. I would la now like to introduce our captains to finish off proceedings. Hello everyone, I've been given the huge task of thanking Mrs Lockery on behalf of our year level, so I'll do the best I can and try to express just how grateful we are. Mrs Lockery has put up with our antics since year nine and knowing what sort of kids we were like, I can't say enough how thankful we are and how patient she was watching us grow into young adults. Let's just say we definitely made sure she was kept busy. In all seriousness though, our cohort was challenging at times, but no matter how poorly we behaved, Mrs Lockery always did her best to settle us back down. I'm sure there will be a bittersweet moment for her at the end of today when she can finally stop worrying about us, while we're on school grounds at least. In our more senior years at Swan Hill College, Mrs Lockery strived to make us the best we can be and motivated us through our goals. Whether that was through academic achievement, sporting accomplishments or even through our Year 12 competition this year, it was always a priority of hers to celebrate our wins, no matter how big or how small. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that we are incredibly grateful for that. In particular, I wanted to mention how appreciative we are for her assistance and consistent support during lockdowns and online school. It was not an ideal situation for VCE students, yet Mrs Lockery made sure to repeatedly remind us that she's got our backs. Not only this, but she's stuck with us over the last two years and put in the effort to check up on us when times are rough. And finally, to Mrs Lockery, I hope we've made you proud over the last four years and I hope you know just how much of an influence you've had on each of our lives. You've been an important figure for us for four years and you will continue to be years into the future. So on behalf of our year level, thank you for your time, your patience, your motivation and for your support. Thank you. To the class of 2021, while the past two years has not been what any of us would have hoped or expected our last years at Swannell College to be, we have finally made it. Who would have thought we would be battling a global pandemic while trying to complete our VCE or VCAL education? We'd like to extend our congratulations to all students who have received early offers into university and wish you luck as you navigate your way through O-Week. We would also like to wish all students the best in having successfully attained apprenticeships and traineeships and have begun or start them in the coming weeks. Whether you are deciding to have a gap year, planning on travelling once COVID is finally under control, working full time or heading to uni, we hope you achieve your life aspirations and enjoy taking a break from the school books. We look forward to hearing of everyone's successes in the future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love being your year level manager. <laughs>